Okay, in the second video for quick sort, we're going to look at this list of numbers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers, and I'm going to go through quick sort a little bit quicker, um, just so you can see how quick it can actually be. So first of all, we circle three because that's the first number in our list. That's our first live pivot. Okay, so all the numbers that are less than three go to the left hand side. So we have two and one, and the three is now dead. Okay, and we've got nine, five, four, seven, six, and eight. Okay, um, that's maintaining the order in which they were in the original list. We now have two sublists. Two and nine are new pivots. One must go before two, so two is now a dead pivot and three remaining in place, fixed in place, that's dead also. We now have five, four, seven, six, eight are all smaller than nine. So nine is switched over here and is now dead. Now we're not going to choose one as a live pivot because there's nothing to compare it with. So five is the only one that we're picking at this point. So we have one, two, three, okay? They're already fixed in place. Then we have four, then five. Then we have seven, six, eight. So seven is going to have to be my new pivot, okay? And you'll notice that four cannot be picked because that is in a sublist of one, and that is in a sublist of one like one. Okay, so they cannot be picked. So we have our next line. One, two, three, four, fixed in place. Five is dead. Then I have six. Seven is now dead. Eight, then nine. Okay, so seven, uh, seven compared with six. Six had to go to the left of seven. Eight was on the right, so it stops us from picking six or eight as a new pivot, okay? So that means we are done because we have only sublists of length one, okay? One, four, six, and eight, okay? And we are done. And that is the working that you would need to show for this type of question.